Play and Pause Engineering Editor. We are now connected to the network. Please note that you can connect to the network not just from the Startup tab but also from other tabs. You can see the play and pause buttons here as soon as the device is configured and assigned. The play and pause function can be used even before a full download. But, it is recommended to perform a full download from the Startup tab and then use the play and pause function for Delta downloads. Especially, when a Modbus network is created it is required to do a full download. As we performed a full download in the last step, the device is operational and the state is program halted. Click on the play button. When you click on the play button following actions take place. The online parameter changes are uploaded. The changed hardware is downloaded and the engineering editor is online. You can see an orange frame around the configuration area. And, there are new columns visible. You cannot add new data points in the online session. Hence, all the empty channels are hidden. Here you can see the live status of each data point or overall field bus. In this column the online values with the unit are displayed. Let's also expand the onboard outputs. We see that there is a problem with supply air temperature. And, the reliability in the properties shows that the line is broken. Let me check it on my setup. And yes I found the break. I fixed it and now the status here is also updated. There is no fault anymore. I am also simulating the temperature and you can observe the change. If you notice the properties section, you can see that some of the properties are disabled. And some of them are enabled and can be changed while we are online. As this data point is now tested. I will mark the commissioning state and write some comments for the test. Similarly you can test all the other data points and mark the status accordingly. When the state of the device is program halted, all the outputs are commanded with priority 2. And, the value of the output is what is set in the backup mode in the BACnet properties. To override the output we need a higher priority and hence this warning message is shown. To test this data point we can proceed with the warning. The data point has an error and the reliability is over range. Yes, since the process value 2 is 10, the value given by us exceeds it. As per my simulation I will change this value to 100. And now the error is resolved and I can see the correct output. Similarly you can also test the IOs on the TXIO module. When required, a data point can be put to out of service and tested accordingly. You can observe the behavior here. Let's now also check the Modbus device. I will change the set point of the damper to 50% and you can observe that the feedback changes. It also reaches a value of 50%. Click on the pause button. There is warning that some IOs are still locked in life safety. I would like to change this hence I click on cancel. You can release the manual overrides by clicking on the red hand icon. I will do the same for the onboard IOs. Now when you click on pause, the engineering editor goes offline. The changes done in play mode are directly written in the device and in the offline data. Hence, you can verify that the values changed are reflected offline. Click on the play button again. The commissioning status entered in the last session is saved and visible here. And, the values changed also persists. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.
Siemens. Ingenuity for life.